U.S. President Barack Obama has condemned the city of Ferguson, Missouri for oppressive and abusive actions against African Americans. After a report proved that racial bias ran rampant in the police force, the U.S. Attorney General has threatened to dismantle the department. President Obama said the U.S. Justice Department uncovered shocking findings that proved Ferguson's mostly white police force routinely targeted African Americans. The Ferguson Police Department, in conjunction with the municipality, saw traffic stops, arrests, tickets as a revenue generator and that it systematically was biased against African Americans in that city who were stopped, harassed, mistreated, abused, called names, fined. But what it couldn't prove is that Officer Darren Wilson had criminal intent when he shot and killed an unarmed black teenager. A decision Obama fully supports. You can't just charge him anyway just because what happened was tragic. The U.S. Attorney General was disgusted to find Ferguson police work with court officials to routinely jail people for not paying their fines. The notion that you would use a law enforcement agency or law enforcement generally uh, to generate revenue and then the, the, the callous way in which that was done and the impact that it had on the, the lives of the ordinary citizens of, uh, of that municipality was just appalling. He vowed to create national guidelines to prevent the use of debtors' prisons and said if Ferguson doesn't shape up, he'll dismantle it. You know, coming up with an entirely new structure. So does that include dismantling the police force? And if that's what's him? necessary, we're prepared to do that. The Ferguson mayor admitted three employees did harbor egregious racial bias and they've since been fired. Stop. You need to stop throwing this whole case erupted last August when Wilson shot 18-year-old Michael Brown. Brown's family is now suing the city to try to prove police have other options than shooting to kill. Sonia Artero, TVB News.